everybody Judy here just want to do show you how to make um, embellishments out of cork clay uh, the picture uh, up the front these are the embellishments that I've made so they're they're made from cork clay as I said it's a Japanese product um, they're probably a mill thick when they're finished they're completely flexible um, and you can cut them rip them um, paint them and and yes so I'll just show you so this one here has got the gold leaf on it with um, the uh, red oxide underneath this one's got a, this has been stamped into with a very big stamp and that's been painted with black with the gold leaf over the top this one's just been painted over the black one has been with the uh, red oxide but then just rubbed with uh, a gold wax mica wax that I've got and um, this one here has had silver and black and gold on the top and I think that one there has just got gold paint on the top right so obviously you can make I like organic pieces on my work um, I'm at the moment working towards um, making ancient sort of looking doors and um, windows and things so I'm creating things at the moment to to put into that particular new journal I'm going to be working on so I put a link up um, on underneath um for australia and for because i don't have a new a new bag um but i'll put a link up to buy it it's about uh 25 dollars australian about 20 20 dollars australian 25 somewhere around there it depends on on the two link america yeah it was about 14 dollars or something so yeah about 25 dollars. but it's quite a big bag and it goes a long way um art clay world in usa or cool tools um sell it i have put cool, cool tools link that's actually what it oh, i got that right. i don't even know whether i've got that up the right way that's what it actually looks like okay so what it is is a japanese product i use it in my silver clay jewelry making to make um hollow um hollow beads um so yes oops I'll just cut a bit off this one you have to keep it very well sealed otherwise obviously the whole thing will will dry out hence the two wrappings of um, the glad wrap all right plastic wrap so I'll just wrap that back up um, so these can be used, well I'm, I use them on the front of my journals and inside some page, some special pages. I think I used one in the last um, symbol page. Um, yeah, but anyway, I will, you can have a look if you want on my channel. So, it's very malleable, but it doesn't, it doesn't stay like, it takes about, probably an hour to dry um, this is just a what I'm working on the top of is just a laminated piece of paper so yeah so it's not you can roll it nice and thin nice and thin it has to still be it still has to be thick enough to actually take a stamp if you yeah so um, I'm going to try uh, I'll do this one stencil you just roll it on until you actually sort of popped level on and the actual stencil is embedded into the piece of cork
because they're not going to be any good to anyone. That's the stencil. White paper. Paper doesn't. Um, do, 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 do. Anyway, that's fine. I don't know whether you can see that doing doing that thing. So that's uh, actually I might leave that on there on there to dry okay. and just turn this around because it's actually quite thin that piece. So you can same deal. Use um, a lot of um, molds that I've made myself um, in my work. So this is a, um, a script I did years ago and I've made a mold of, of the plaster that I did it in. And, um, they're all my ancient um, symbols that I designed. And so I can just push that onto there. I think it doesn't actually need to have... reverse to reverse because um this this is going uh this is raised so it's embedding into the cork clay so that piece actually will be oh have i got an example of that i like this one where it's embedded um what else so we're going to use a uh snake roller and roll out um, a small piece of it and just do uh, this is a snake roller i use it in my silver clay jewelry making because silver silver clay you can't really um play with too much either it's a bit like cork clay you need to keep your fingers away otherwise it dries out quite fast so this is kind of a cute thing to do And what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to use, now this, I'm just going to lubricate this because I want to move this one. Uh, now this is just um, a Cool Tools, um, it's kind of like coconut oil, you know, coconut oil, but you can use coconut oil and you, or you could use olive oil. This is just an organic, um, an organic one that I use. Um, in silver clay. Then with the snake roller, we push it down until it spreads out and picks up the pattern. Come off the mold really easily and you can see how it's picked up the pattern beautifully. So you'll be able to paint that and do whatever you want with it. And the last one I was going to do, I was thinking I'd just do um, a round. So you don't ever waste any of the cork. And this also, because it's a, a rubber, a rubber mold, um, to have some of this in the grooves so it doesn't stick to the cork clay but as I say oil just works as well dial the stamp you have to press these these stamps are actually quite fine so I find you actually have to you know press um, rather everyone's doing well um 
see how it just joins back together again I'm hoping you can see that hoping I've got my camera close enough another one of those little squares So they're very thin. They take a couple of hours to dry. By the time you've stamped, there are probably only... No, they can go from one or two mil, you know, thick. But um, And I will just stamp that last little bit. So that's those. do this gorgeous this is my mum's I found it isn't it gorgeous beautiful hand carved dragon like but I actually think it's made from bone it's a bit worrying but anyway um anyway I was going to make one of those but this is fine all right so the next step is obviously to paint them all and I've painted a few already so I've painted black, um, I painted, this is a Bora Bora color with a bit of red, uh, so you could actually, you know, and, and this is, this is them mixed, so you, I mean, you could actually leave them like this if you wanted to have that look, and you don't have to put the gold on, I love the, the raised up element of them, that, you know, just makes a very special piece. This is a stamp that um, I don't, oh, here it is. I made yesterday. Yeah, it's one I had made years ago, but it's carved from wood. So um, it's very, very, not very deep, but um, it did come out because I rubbed a little bit of white on it just to see. And that's another one there from yesterday. So I painted them a few colors when I was having a play um, and so there's a few different techniques of getting obviously I showed you you know you could just rub rub the gold waxy mica powder mix on you could go put gold leaf which is this is gold leaf and um, so the way I do gold leaf is I actually have a glue stick a flat glue stick and I just rub across the top trying to just get glue and the reason I'm using this one is because it's not quite as sticky as um, the Yoohoo. The Yoohoo is actually really really sticky and it gets everywhere. So I use that then you just pop that in there like that. be stuck to where you put the glue like so um, I mean you can go back on if it if you didn't have enough glue or you had yeah too much you can still rub it off very you know if you're firm about it and then there's this one that I've already done this is the same but this is dried so you can either just rub it off with your fingers would be better that one's too soft and I don't know what I've done with my firm one and that's a bit silly maybe that might be a bit better spits off and of course catch them because you could use them 
could use that on your jelly plate or you know on a print and put it onto a print um, which I probably will use it because they're all tiny tiny pieces I've actually seen Robin McClendon do that looks great so your fingers something you know chronic <laughs> there we go so that's that's that that's how that comes out if we do it that way um, I also did a bit on a card that I was working on which was interesting so I thought I'd just take that off while I'm while I'm here I'm going to put some paint on that too okay that's that okay so that's the gold leaf all right um now the other way of course is to get um, a small amount of gold paint and dry brush now when i say a small amount i mean it really don't really need very much at all um, that one actually is um, um, what is it called Aztec gold which I got recently which cost me a fortune but anyway <laughs> I hate that when I buy things from overseas they seriously cost me a fortune but yeah this is beautiful beautiful paint I'd like to try things so I just dry brush Process, but this Aztec gold is actually a beautiful color over the over the black on it but um you can see that's coming out beautiful and if you rub it back you can bring up some of the brown even if you you know if you give it a really good rub you can actually bring up some of the under colors so if you did numerous colors underneath it you could um, definitely um, bring them to the surface um, I've done that on this silver one got silver and black and also now the cork clay showing uh, okay so I think I've run through everything um, thank you for watching I hope you enjoy playing with cork clay and um, I will hopefully see you in the next video I'm doing uh, stained glass windows on the aluminium foil but my way <laughs> okay bye